today's topic is volatility and that is something that is uh, pretty much in the news uh, these days so let us firstly try to understand what volatility is all about volatility is basically a barometer of uncertainty now what uncertainty means is what can actually happen what is something that it may happen it may not happen that kind of a thing so it is largely something that is a function of the news flows that are coming through just to give you an example uh, recently uh, we had news coming in that the us could actually be increasing the interest rates at their fed end so a lot of upheavals had happened wherein equities uh, cracked and then they once again recovered from the lows that had happened so these uncertainties are basically the function of how the news come and how one understands these news so that is about basic part of volatility now volatility is different for different people and one for the investor is quite different from one for the trader for an investor volatility is the taste of patience so if a long term investor uh, is hearing to news wherein uh, a lot of negative things are coming through then at certain point of time he starts thinking that uh, probably one should get out of his or her investment but once this taste goes through and he once again comes back to its mean he in a way is through through this stage of what we can call as uncertainty and once again things start looking rosy for him similarly in case of an trader the case of volatility is very much amplified so to say what can happen in the next one hour what can happen in the next 5 hours what can happen in the next week what can happen over a period of one month that is what generally a trader is looking at so many things that are related to a derivatives expiry give rise to heightened volatility over a set period of time now volatility for a trader would mean how much of upheavals that is ups and downs a uh, thing can uh, take through on the other hand if we look at a perspective where one is looking at long term investments then whether one has to be into an asset class based on the volatility or whether one should be out of it is something that one needs to look at so cross asset allocations and things like that are in a way uh, magnified when one looks at volatility third and important point about uh, what volatility really happens to a derivatives trader is that it puts up the premium of options that are being traded in the exchange so generally the word india vix or vix that you uh, hear generally in newspapers or uh, maybe on the tv channels is something which is related to the options premium and how costly or how cheap they are with respect to the volatility that forms a part of it so volatility index or vix as it is known is quite different from the actual volatility that is happening as far as let's say understanding how volatile things can uh, be utilized to one's uh, benefit in case of an investor when the markets start turning down and there is a lot of volatility what lot of negative news a phase where the volatility is at the highest is when one can really start thinking that probably one should start investing into it this set wherein uh, one sees heightened activity at lower levels is where the fear is the most amongst most of the participants so when this fear is at its highest the fortune favors the brave so an apt investor should actually start investing in the market similarly being on the right side of the trade is to utilize volatility as a form of momentum is where the trader 
would certainly find his base so generally what they say that for a trader heightened volatility is a money making machine so more the volatility more amount of money or more amount of profits can be constructed the main case being that one needs to be on the right side of volatility having said that let us summarize that uh, volatility generally a dreaded word in uh, equity whether it is in investments or trading is actually a thing wherein it helps you to really get the real crux of when to invest how to invest and simultaneously being on the right side of volatility so that's for volatility thank you for joining us investments in securities market are subject to market risk read all the related documents carefully before investing investors must make their own investment decision based on their specific goals financial position and risk appetite The content provided herewith is purely for information and educational purpose only.